of the early show this morning, a CBS News exclusive, a warning for parents who still have children sleeping in a crib. Consumer correspondent Susan Copen is here with everything you need to know. Good morning. Good morning, Maggie. CBS News has learned that the Consumer Product Safety Commission is about to announce one of the largest crib recalls in U.S. history, a recall involving cribs with drop-down sides. And now there is a major push to ban these types of cribs. And the CPSC says it has no doubt that dangerous and recalled cribs are being used in homes right now in America. There have been dozens of deaths involving these drop side cribs and we are waiting to hear more about the crib recall and the specific cribs involved. We expect to know more tomorrow morning, Maggie. In the meantime, I can I can hear a lot of parents at home freaking out. I can't think of anyone who doesn't have a drop down. Uh, exactly. Crib. So exactly. What can we do in the meantime? Well, the Consumer Product Safety Commission says there are a few things you should do. First of all, check your crib. See if the crib that you are using right now has been recalled already in the past. But also take a look at that side rail. Look at the hardware that's being used. Is it solid? Hold on to the rail. Can you move it back and forth? If you can move it back and forth and it can create a gap, that can be dangerous. That's how the kids get trapped in between. And also, if you can, stop using that drop side. Just keep it up keep in it up. a locked position. What if people don't know if their crib has been recalled? Go to recalls.gov and you can search for your specific crib. Five million cribs in the past two years. Yeah, it's a lot of cribs. And, and more we'll, to come. More tomorrow. All right, thank you so much, Susan Copen. For more on this, go to our website, earlyshow.cbsnews.com. As we get more information, we will post it up there for you and, of course, bring you the specifics tomorrow morning. Up next, the suspected bank robber who decided to...